let us understand about windows children who takes care of all the household jobs at your home yes you have guessed right your parents look after all the household works in such a manner that you do not have to worry about them it is because they run the house with a system suppose your parents are away and you have to manage the house you will surely find it difficult to manage the daily course of a house and will find yourself in a mess in the same way a computer has a special set of programs which manages all the jobs of a computer and makes it run this is known as operating system windows is an operating system without it we cannot even start a computer and work on it now tell me children when we use the word window which image comes to your mind yes it is the glass window through which we can peep outside and can have various views likewise in computers windows is a rectangular frame that shows different programs on the screen who is he he is william bell h gates founder of microsoft corporation the world's leading software company features of windows 7 Windows is attractive. It has colorful pictures and themes. It is easy to use and operate. It has an improved search tool. It allows users to work on many programs at the same time. When we switch on a computer, Windows starts automatically. The first screen that appears with labeled pictures on it is called desktop. Let us have a quick quiz. Windows 8 is the latest version of Windows. Now let us understand icon. The small labeled pictures or symbols present on the desktop are called icons. These icons are used to open specific programs or documents. Let us understand the concept of icons and desktop with the help of a given example. When you go to the kitchen and open a cupboard, you find various labeled boxes containing different items. This cupboard works like windows and the labeled boxes work like icons. Okay children, we shall discuss about window task bar. The task bar is a long horizontal bar located at the bottom of the desktop. It is divided into the following sections. Now let us talk about the start button. The start button is present at the bottom left of the task bar. When you click on the start button, the list of options appears. This list is called start menu. You can use start button to perform common tasks such as starting a program, using help and support, searching files and folders. shutting down the computer and much more students let us learn a few things start menu can also be opened by pressing windows button on the keyboard middle section the middle section of the bar shows the open programs as buttons this area of the task bar is called quick launch bar Where you can add commonly used programs such as Internet Explorer, Word program, Windows Media Player, etc. They can be opened with a single click. When a program is active, its button is highlighted in a lighter shade. Notification area. The right side of the taskbar is known as notification area. which includes a clock and a group of icons that tell the status and notifications about the programs running on a computer for example software updates network connectivity battery volume etc the show desktop button is present on the extreme right of the taskbar 
click this button to minimize all the open program windows and view the desktop. Moving the taskbar. The taskbar can be moved to any of the four sides of the desktop. To move the taskbar, take the following steps. Place the pointer on the blank area to the taskbar. Press and hold the left mouse button and drag the taskbar to any side of the desktop. Now release the mouse button. Locking the taskbar. You can lock the taskbar. That means it will not move to any place until you unlock it. Right click on the blank area of the taskbar. Click on the lock the taskbar option in the shortcut menu. You will notice that the taskbar will not move from its location. Time for the fact file. When a computer is switched on, windows take a few seconds to load an operating system. This process of loading the OS is called booting.